Now, I used to be a travelling salesman, which meant I spent most of my life in two-star hotels. Now, one star, OK, that's fine. You know where you are. You get a navvy in the other bed. And an interesting rash. Um, four stars, fine, too, because you get a porn channel, which is normally two hours of a bloke with a mullet doing this. <laughs> But you don't get that in the sort of hotel that I'm talking about. Um, what I'm talking about is the sort of place where all they care about is that you don't walk off with the key. All right? Um, so, <laughs> you will remember to hand it in, won't you? When you leave. Oh. And this, of course, is the sort of room you get, OK? There's usually tea and coffee-making facilities. Uh, so, you, uh, you check there's some water in the kettle, uh, plug it in, and have a brew, OK? But how do you know it was water? Hmm? <laughs> how do you know a previous guest didn't pee in it? <laughs> I always do. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Last thing you do before checking out, you set the alarm at 3.50 in the morning. <laughs> Kipper in the trouser press and then pee in the kettle. <laughs> so the tea's out, and so I'm afraid is the TV. And there we are, there's BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four, and Channel Five. <laughs> He's still at it. <laughs> then of course there's the jet engine uh, in your bathroom. It's actually the fan which comes on when you turn on the lights. Ready? When you turn the light off, it stays on until dawn, or until you go next door and hit it with a hammer. <laughs> the only place in a hotel like this where you can get some peace and quiet is in the dining room. This is because, on average, 78% of people in provincial hotel dining rooms are dead. <laughs> it might be tempting to go there to get away from the noise, but don't. You see, this is the sort of place where they still think fruit juice is a starter. <laughs> so, what do you do to while away the time? <laughs> well, let's be honest, shall we, OK? You're a man, you're alone, you're in a room. How long's it going to take? <laughs> well, don't. It's dangerous. These sheets are nylon, right? Which means that after a few minutes, you'll be a pulsating mass of static electricity. <laughs> and nylon makes you sweat, so you'll be all wet. You're a time bomb. Okay? <laughs> you put one foot on the Acrylan carpet, and poof! OK, this amateur footage was taken just ten minutes after sales rep Colin Welbeck checked into his room at the Polished Bishop Hotel in Hemel Hempstead. <laughs> let's, let's just see what happens, OK? 